Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to connect Kafka with our Unreal Engine project. So in the previous episode, what we've done is connected Kafka with our um, Java Micronaut project. So now it's able to basically run a container with Kafka. So now basically we can connect to it. And inside the server itself, we've also subscribed to a particular event so that when we publish uh, data to that event, we basically get that event and can process it so effectively we can use it as a queue to process um, lots of data um, so what we're going to do in this episode is basically uh, integrate with this uh, plugin so i found this open source plugin uh, which is able to uh, basically publish events uh, so it's able to do quite a few things but publishing uh, events is one of them uh, so we're going to connect to our instance of kafka and start publishing those events we're gonna inside our micronaut server subscribe to that event and then simply process it right so the idea behind it is that uh, we'll run a server instance of unreal engine that server will be responsible for controlling se uh, several monsters mobs in a particular area whatever and we're also going to be publishing those um, updates to our micronaut server so that way we can leverage all of the um, ue functionalities like AI, etc., physics, and it's going to process that and then send those updates to Micronaut. And then that's going to be responsible for sending updates to all of the player clients. So that way it should make things a little bit more scalable. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so as usual, I've included um, the steps on reproducing this. So basically what you actually need to do is simply install the plugin. And I've referenced a couple of videos on how you can do that because uh, the steps weren't that straightforward. Um, I think it will get a lot better with time, but this is a pretty new uh, library, pretty new project. So it's really great. I hope, you know, it becomes more mature with time. Um, but in the meantime, uh, there's a couple of things you'll need to do in order to get it up and running. So they're all referenced here, um, as well as, you know, uh, all, all of the testing that I, I needed to do. So um, let's get started with a quick demo. So basically what we have here is um, my character um, has some blueprints now to publish some events. So I'm going to log into this character. And as you can see, maybe here, I'm starting to publish some events. I'm subscribing to this topic inside my uh, Micronaut server. So you can see I'm subscribed to this topic test. Uh, and I'm uh, basically expecting to get some string of data. And I'm simply uh, printing that to the screen for now and putting in the timestamp so you can see uh, that I'm basically sending this event every one second. Okay, so with time, I'm going to basically uh, integrate uh, this communication with uh, the UE server, and it's going to control some mobs, and then it's going to send the updates to here. So you can see I can accept more complicated data structures. So I've already uh, tested with uh, some more complex one from UE as well. Uh, it's JSON structures. And yeah, we're going to do some really cool stuff in the near future. But for now, I just wanted to demonstrate some of these basic capabilities. And yeah, let's have a look at what we needed to do in um, our Unreal Engine. Okay, so we'll get started by basically making sure that the uh, plugin is installed and enabled. So uh, after installing it, you should be able to see Easy Kafka inside the, the plugins. So just make sure that it's ticked as well. And now just navigate to the blueprints of interest. So for me, I've added it to my player character blueprint. Uh, this is only for prototyping. So I'm actually going to get rid of these uh, blueprints. I just wanted uh, a quick place I could test them. So obviously my character gets spawned when I start. So uh, this was an easy place to test this. Okay, so uh, you'll be able to reference the easy Kafka subsystem when uh, you have it installed. So basically grab the instance of your easy Kafka subsystem. And from that, you'll be able to then create a producer. So uh, this thing was a little bit tricky. So basically, uh, you can see that there's a couple of different options for creating producers. So let's see. So for me, uh, create producer, this version did not work. Um, I think this didn't work, um, but perhaps I just put the wrong configurations in. So the only one that actually did work was uh, this third one where I could specify the configurations here. So I'll basically explain why. So first of all, um, when I didn't put the username and password, so if I didn't have authentication, it simply didn't work. It actually crashed. 
Um, so I, I, I'm sure this will get fixed soon. Um, this is probably just, you know, an oversight to be fair. Um, but basically there was a couple of issues with that one. Uh, but then uh, if I create producer with uh, this configuration, so now I basically added some authentication. So I added SASL, um, I, I basically went over this in the previous episode, right? Uh, but I added simple authentication here and I needed to provide uh, the client ID, uh, plain um, security protocol. So just a couple of basic uh, things. Um, yeah, partitioner. I think this is also important partition. Um, and I only have the one partition as far as I'm aware. And obviously your username and password. So of course, I'm probably gonna uh, add them through different means. My guess is to get them through uh, the game instance, but you know, for testing purposes, this is fine. Add the server that you're interested in and you're good to go. Uh, even the bind event on message produced, this is optional. Um, I've just added this in order to uh, print to the screen, whether it's been successful or not. Uh, this is fairly optional. Um, perhaps you're interested to make sure that it has been sent. Maybe you'll have some error scenarios if it hasn't been. Um, again, entirely optional. And then what I've done is I've created a, a timer by event. So every one second, I'm going to go ahead and produce a record. So you can see that I'm producing a record with a topic test. And here's a value. Hello from Easy Kafka. Um, and the ID, uh, this will just be referenced in uh, the callback if required so i think you can find it here record id so it'll just match this one over here and this is really just to synchronize the callbacks with the producer so again it's optional uh, but could be useful depending on your scenarios uh, and that's basically it so that's all i needed to do to create a, a producer so obviously if you're looking to do a consumer etc uh, there's a couple of e easy steps uh, I'm just demonstrating the producer for this um, moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start integrating this now with a UE server. So this is on my client side. And then I'll create a, a really basic mob. It's not going to do much. Uh, but again, it's just really iteratively building on something to, uh, you know, basically implement uh, an MMO type game. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how that goes. But best of luck and see you next time.